like that.
get this muck out. Hello to that. coming from this spider bot fragment. No indication yet who it belongs to. How the hell did it end up here? And in this mangled state? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Thought that was easy before. Very nice, dead sec.
Perfect. Two more data relays to go. stream and the video from these 36 and got it go back to where you found that spider bot and i'll show you the ar reconstruction from the night of the explosion acknowledged CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Uh. Kelly dog? Oh, fuck. Clan Kelly was in on the bombings. This is huge. Looks like the Kelly supplied the bomb and we're making a delivery. Oh shit, a woman they met with. I'll bet she's part of Zero Day. Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Max, only chance of running a ping back to whoever was operating the bot. I've now fully decrypted the signal the spider bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. So the bloody fuzz was watching this go down. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Oh, great. Has the Pentagon released its quantum tunneling tech yet? Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Solid plan. those human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Acknowledged. RDX Nitrogen, and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day written all over it, yeah? Damn, hurry. Got all the deliveries. So you were hired to fire all the targets? Stop it. We're all on need to know. Zero Day had multiple crews coordinating this. Three-dimensional chess, man. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more.
tracing the Spinerbot serial number it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. They knew it was behind the bombings months ago. It's a fucking conspiracy and the filth is in on it. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. This is fucked. Albion is running the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. Great. Not a fan of the Met, but I'll take Bobby's over jackboots any day. Not to worry. The only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in. all of them.
You thinking what I'm thinking, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Must be a way to ID the last user. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. I got this. Whoa! That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all.
Look at all this junk. You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. They're trying to protect us from criminals and illegals. Really, they're just afraid someone's going to come along and knock them off their high arms. You bet I am that someone can us. Oh, you through this last bent path. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. This fucking rabbit hole just goes deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Pushing you the ground station's coordinates.
Jesus, I need to be careful. This is London Calling. You're listening to Buccaneer, your pirate podcast source for what they don't want to know. I'm Tash, and this time we give a special shout out from us to the boys and girls at the Signal and Intelligence Response Service, better known as SEGS. Why not? They're going to be listening anyway. They're listening to everything. Max, little help here. How do I get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. It's definitely out of the way. Perfect spot to do some off the book shit. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Cool. I'll have to keep an eye out for more. Nibbling away on the rocking carpet of the once free Britain. Oh, yeah. Hello, resistance fans. You're listening to a bus podcast, the objective voice of objection in this most objectionable world. I am. Well, fuck. We got ourselves a rogue cop shop. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. Enough to follow a lead all the way to the tone bombing. What do you think, Bagley? The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now. Since Albion's coup, the Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book, going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry but I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale and her investigation led her to the bombings. Fuck. Albion are thrown in with the Kellys, waiting on the bloody lizard people to join the conspiracy. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread and it leads back to them. 
Clank Kelly and Albion included. Well, I'm not sitting on my ass while they go on abducting people off the street. Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like us call that a lead. This Albion Clan Kelly business leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And if Caitlin Lau's right, then this little nugget jumps to the front of the queue. We have reason to believe a former DedSec operative may still be alive, but missing inside the EPC. Angel Lopez, not London born, but I won't hold that against him, unlike some others. Looks like Angel got caught up in the immigration roundup, which, ironically, may be the only reason he escaped Zero Day's DedSec purge. Anti-immigrant sentiment has grown in London since the bombings. Albion fuels it. It allows them to send anyone they want to their brutal refugee camp. We need to find Angel before they discover he's dead sick. This is kind of personal team. But finding his trail might just shed some light on the Albion Clan Kelly connection. Shite. Well, Brightside, at least they wouldn't have shipped him out. But means he's in limbo at the EPC. Not ideal. I've sent the details to your device and advised our contact at the EPC. They can get you inside. Now you're asking for it. <gasps> 